New tonight, we're uncovering more disturbing details about Toralina May Fields, the woman accused of brutally killing her mother in Robertson County. As we previously reported, Fields led a double life, chasing a career in Hollywood under the name Naomi Navarre. Tonight, Jace Obardo speaks with one of her former co-stars and close friends, shedding light on the dark turn her life took. I didn't even know that her name was Toralina at all. Everybody, I mean, everybody knows her as uh, Naomi. Andoni Zorbis is in shock. He thought he knew his co-star and friend Naomi Navarre, who starred alongside him in the 2019 film A Dance Story, which Zorbis wrote, directed, and headlined. Whenever I think of her, I think of happiness, I think of laughter, I think of positivity. Naomi, whose real name is Torlina Mayfields, was arrested earlier this month, accused of the grisly murder and dismemberment of her mother, Trudy. I expect a lot of things to happen, like, in life, but this is the only thing that is the least thing that I could ever expect. I just, I, I don't know what to say. Zorbis, stunned by the horror of the crime, admits he never imagined his friend could be capable of such atrocity. However, he does recall a shift in her behavior after they finished filming their movie. Hey, 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 don't you dare. I knew something was off with her after Dance Story. I knew something was going on with her because she just... The look, the eyes, you could tell there was, I could tell that it's not Naomi anymore. It's not the Naomi that we all knew her as. Family members say she was involved in a motorcycle accident while living in California and had only moved back to Kentucky a few months ago. Something had to happen for her to have something in her mind to do such a thing. I mean, it, it, it's beyond comprehension. It... Zorbis can't help but recognize the parallels between the film's ending and his former friend's shocking new reality. The final scene of the film, the final scene, is literally her sitting in jail. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Like, I, is it destiny? Fields is set to appear in court for a preliminary hearing on October 23rd. In Lexington, Jay Sobardo, Fox 56 News.